Taliban refuted accusations of executions in Afghanistan. The Taliban, banned in Kazakhstan, has denied accusations of summary executions of former members of the Afghan security forces. Afghan Interior Ministry spokesman Kari said Kosti rejected the accusation and said no evidence of retaliatory acts against the security forces of the previous government had been presented. These reports and allegations are not based on evidence. We reject such claims. If there is any evidence, it should be given to us. We have had isolated cases of assassinations of former government members, but they were due to private feuds, and we have detained those involved, Kerry said Hosti said. He added that many former regime security personnel, who killed hundreds of Mujahideen and residents are living peacefully, in the country on the basis of a general amnesty granted by the Taliban. A few days earlier, Human Rights Watch released a report documenting the executions or enforced disappearances of more than 100 former Afghan national security forces and other security personnel who surrendered to or were arrested by the Islamists in Ghazni, Helmand, Kandahar and Kunduz provinces in the two. Five months from August 15 to October 31, the governments of the United States, Australia, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Japan, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Northern Macedonia, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, and Ukraine issued a joint statement expressing concern about reports by human rights organizations of mass executions by the Taliban of former Afghan security forces. The statement accused the Taliban fighters of acting contrary to their own promise to grant amnesty to former employees of the security forces, estimating it as gross violations of human rights. As a reminder, the Taliban announced a general amnesty two days after the invasion of the Afghan capital Kabul in August 2021. Taliban spokesman Zabihullah Mujahid said then at a press conference that everyone was pardoned. However, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights Michelle Bachelet said there were credible reports of Taliban massacres of former Afghan security forces. According to her, the militants have organized roundups in search of opponents, some employees of the former Afghan government are found dead, others, as well as members of their families, are allegedly kidnapped by the Taliban.